Hello again everyone, James here. Now in most videos, I set up a bunch of tips and tricks for getting ahead in the music business, but today we're gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna tell you the don'ts, the things you absolutely should not do if you wanna get ahead. Now the obvious answer here would be anything that makes you look like an amateur, people who don't know what they're doing, who are desperate for attention, who are cloying in that way that gets under people's skin and makes them not want to work with them. But I have a few specific examples that I wanna share with you and most, if not all of them, pertain to marketing. Because I see a lot of artists spending a lot of money and a lot of time doing things that are not gonna lead anywhere beneficial for them or their audience. That is, if they can even reach their audience. Now the first thing that I wanna tell you to not do under any circumstances whatsoever is pay for access to contacts. And by that I mean, don't go on Fiverr.com or Playlist Hunter or one of these services that promises to give you access to thousands upon thousands of influencers or writers or reporters or whatever it happens to be because those services are not going to help your career. And while the databases that they allow you access to and the spreadsheets that they may offer do have real contacts on them, that's not gonna give you the relationship that you want because what you're ultimately trying to do is to get those people to want to care about your music, to want to write about you, to want to see you succeed, and paying for access never accomplishes that. The hard fact is that you have to go the hard way, which is you have to set up those relationships yourself. You have to engage with those individuals. You have to build a rapport. You have to have a two-sided relationship, which leads me to my second point. Now I know way too many music professionals and musicians who get obsessed with their own success. And by that I mean they view every relationship as a means to get ahead for themselves. They never stop to think, what does this other person want? What does the website that I'm trying to get to cover me want in the end of the day? How can I help the other person as much as they're helping me? And because of that, we end up with a really splintered music scene where people are taking advantage of one another in this desperate attempt to get to the top of a mountain that doesn't really lead anywhere. What true success means in music today is working together to build up a better community for everyone. And by that I mean a place where people care about one another, where they're invested in one another's success, and they lift one another up as often as possible. That is how you get ahead, and that is how you build a lasting career, but we're way too obsessed with ourselves, and that's a problem. And speaking of shortcuts and paying for things and not thinking about the two-way street that is relationships, under almost every circumstance, you need to avoid any get-rich-quick scheme that exists in music. And while they don't usually say get-rich-quick, they do say things like get on 100 playlists or get more followers or get more streams or anything that promises to give you big results in exchange for a small amount of money. These are scams. We've made lots of videos about them, but you need to avoid them because every time I see one on Instagram, I know another one's right behind and these services can appear so often that you start to think they must be legitimate because you're seeing them so often. Why would Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever it happens to be service me an ad for something that's not actually going to deliver what it promises? But I'm telling you right now, before you waste your money, before you get frustrated by seeing a bunch of impressions and results that don't really add up to anything substantial for your career, don't do it. Don't pay for it. Don't even let it have the time of day in your brain. Just, just avoid it altogether. Now, I don't want to be overly negative, but I do have a few more quick tips for you, all of them in the don't category, and they're all connected, so let's get right to it. The big one here is don't treat every social media channel the same because they're not. They're not for you as a consumer and they shouldn't be for you as a professional. Let me give you an example. Most of us have a Facebook account, an Instagram account, a Twitter account, and possibly a TikTok account. Now, I'm willing to bet that you don't spend the same amount of time on every single one of those apps. There's probably one that you gravitate towards more than the rest. And the same is true for your audience. So why waste time spending an hour a day on each of those platforms if most of your audience is on one of them? The trick to getting ahead is to figure out where your audience is and then focus your efforts on that community, on building your audience from that platform outward. And going along with that, once you isolate the channels that are best for your career, don't be a person who just spams a whole bunch of promotional nonsense because nobody wants to follow that, nobody wants to engage with it, and it's not going to get you anywhere. Instead, spend time crafting original content. 
mix educational content with engaging content, with informative content, with entertaining content. Give people song teasers, but also give them insight into how you're feeling about what's happening in the world around you. Share with them behind the scenes footage from you in the recording studio, but also share with them your hopes and dreams for your career. Give people all sides of you because that's what they're going to connect with and that's what they're going to engage with moving forward. And I know you may be thinking that you've already found those channels and you already have started to diversify your content offerings, but you're not getting the engagement or the followers that you want from it. So you're tempted to start using advertising on social media. And while I think that there are a lot of pros to doing that, especially if you know how to do it well, there's a danger. A lot of people just promote everything. They just decide that everything they put out into the world deserves to be a promoted post. And that is not the case. It's the law of diminishing returns. One really good promotional post may get you more engagement, may raise your follower account, it may make your fans more aware of something big that's happening. But start doing it too often and people are just gonna drown it out. It's going to be more white noise on the internet. And that's the last thing that you and your fans and really the internet in general needs is more nonsense than nobody's paying attention to. Now I've given you a lot of stuff to not do and I hope that you take it all to heart. I hope that you apply it to your career and when you're ready for some actual tips, some things you should be doing, whether it is on social media, in terms of getting a record deal, in terms of just engaging with your audience, whatever it happens to be, well Music Biz has plenty of that to offer as well. We are promoting a ton of content here on the channel and we would love for you to join our community of devoted music professionals. You can do that by clicking the subscribe button down below and I'll be here each and every week giving you some new original content and engaging you in a discussion about what's happening in the business of music. So please click that button if you haven't done so already and if you have, thank you so much for your continued support. It's good to be with you again. I'll be back soon and until next time, take care of yourself because you deserve it.